Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's a Tuesday morning. Thank you for having us on your screens to start the day off with. Now, in just a few months, our national women's soccer team will be making history as they take part in the FIFA Women's World Cup for the very first time. A second place finish in the Africa Cup of Nations was enough to send Banyana to the football showpiece, which is taking place in France for this, from the 7th of June to the 7th of July. And taking a break from their World Cup preparations, Banyana's Janine van Veek and Tembi Khatlani are here to talk talk to us uh, about how it's going in the team, uh, especially after such a stellar season. And we're looking at June, July. Um, man, I, I was saying to you guys just now, now during the break, it's all I want is world champions next to our names. But that is a massive leap forward. Uh, I'm sure that there's a lot of work that goes into the preparation for this. But firstly, what does it mean to you to play in a World Cup as a player? I think it's, it's going to be a dream come true. Yeah. Um, before I even came to Banyana, I used to watch Janine play on the screen, and today I'm playing with her. <laughs> today I'm playing with her, yeah. and uh, we're on the verge of going to the, the World Cup together. I mean, realizing the same dreams. Even when she was playing, she was dreaming to go to the World Cup. Yeah. Before I even came to Banyana, I was dreaming to go to the World Cup. Today we are here, um, the same team, about to be selected to go to, go to the World Cup. I mean, wow. it's, it's amazing to know that uh, we have different stages yeah. at at the different times yeah. uh, that we share the same dreams together as people. Yeah, Janine, it must be special for you. I mean, looking at your arm, already the ink showing the highlights uh, <laughs> of, of your career as Banyana captain. Um, so this must be very special for you. Yeah, this is um, probably the highlight of my career. Um, something that I've been working towards for 14 years. Um, and I can finally say that I'm, I'm going to participate at the world stage, at a World Cup, representing my country. And it couldn't get any better than this. Um, playing overseas, playing at the Olympics, obviously those are highlights of, of a professional. But playing at a World Cup and representing your country, I think that's the most amazing thing. Yeah. What's the mood like in the camp right now as you look towards June, July and the FIFA Women's World Cup? I think... Um, the team is so excited, the team is hungry for success, uh, the team is confident um, and I've been in the team for, for a while and this is probably the, the only team that everyone is on the same page. At training, everyone's giving their best, that the intensity, the tempo is so high yeah. and it's just a fantastic energetic environment to, to work with. Um, you know everyone is on the same page, everyone's going for that same dream, that same goal, and we can only get better from here on. Yeah, I'm sure looking at this picture, you've never felt the cup so close yet so far. <laughs> uh, just, you know, reach out and touch it. Group B uh, yeah. will be where all South Africans' eyes are fixed on, our opponents in Germany, China and yeah. Spain. And there you can see it there. Yeah. When you look at the numbers, you think about the probabilities, about the opponents you're playing, how far do you think the team will get? Is that something you're fixing your mind on? What's the strategy looking like right now in the camp? Well, obviously for us, uh, we want to do something um, that's obviously... We, we don't want to just go there and add any number to the World Cup. We yeah. want to go out there and compete. Yes. Um, we have set a target for ourselves to get out of the group stages mm -hmm. and from there take it step by step to see how far we can get. Yeah. Um, so our aim right now is obviously to get out of the group stage. Mm -hmm. And from there we will obviously strategize and see um, and work hard to, to get as far as we possibly can. Yeah. And we need to be also be realistic. We're playing against teams that have been in the World Cup for many years. Yes. Um, this is our first time. Yeah. And yes, we, us South Africans um, will be ambitious and say, we're going to come and bring the, the trophy back home. But yeah. for <laughs> us, we need to take it step by step. Mm -hmm. um, it's our first time. Obviously, we're going to be overwhelmed by the teams that are there, the top players that will be there. Um, and we need to just focus on every single game, take it step by step and yeah. see how, how far we can get. But you know what, you've got a country of millions and millions who believe in you. And if I may share in confidence what you said, you said that you know, from a mental point of view, on a very good day, a very good day, there's, it's going to take quite a team to break down Banyana Banyana and I think that's the, the kind of belief that we have in you as well. Mm -hmm. So looking uh, ahead at the preparations, two warm-up matches against Sweden and the Netherlands. Um, how are you going about preparing for these matches and what are you expecting from these games in order to prep you for the World Cup? We've played um, Sweden 
and in the Netherlands before we know what they have what they don't have and as a team I think now like Janine said we're more confident now the spirit is high in camp mm. and it's always good to start off the year with uh, good competitors so we have to see how as a December holiday we're still training mm -hmm. so it would be good to see what options we have as a team to start off the year what formations we would like to try and which players we would like to try in other positions and mm -hmm. it would be good for us going forward because we're going to need a lot of variety going yeah. into the World Cup because you need to have plan A, B, C and eventually D because yeah. then you're going to be playing a tough uh, World Cup competition where you have two days rest in between. So I think it's good uh, as well having the setup of playing um, uh, the Netherlands on Saturday mm -hmm. and then we play Sweden two days later also to prepare our body to see how well can we adjust. Yes, excellent. Well, listen, please send our regards and our best wishes to the rest of the team. We are certainly behind you and believe in you and so immensely proud of you. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. I think it's time that we do get behind our national women's team. You can see Banyana in action against the Netherlands on the 19th of January against Sweden on the 22nd of January at the Cape Town Stadium. Tickets are free and can be collected from CompuTicket. Let's go, Banyana Banyana, let's go!